that you cheated. That you cheated. Hey, what's, what's up? We got a yell it. It's her eye. Hey, lit. It's her eye. Thank you. I gotta just clap it up for, for this man in the comments because he took one for the team. I know he don't be liking to do it, but he did it. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl having a call. And your boy with the eyes with Kenan, you know? Squad, shout out to the gang gang. Doing too much. Calm down. Slow down. You can't be over stare, you're welcome. Like, just with the eyes with Kenan, that's it. Okay? Anyways, if you guys don't know or if you couldn't tell by the title, yes. I did not expect to be sitting next to my ex-boyfriend right now because, you know, they say exes is exes for a reason, but we here right now. So, by the title of the video, as you can see, again, it says why, the real reason why, or why me and this individual right here decided to depart ways and break up. Individual. I have a name. I know, but I just wanted to call you an individual. Okay. I feel weird saying your name. I haven't talked about you in three, like three, four months. Anyways, uh, if you want to know the story, the tea from both sides, and um, see if we can come to agreement live on camera with you guys, please keep on watching. This is either gonna end good or bad. So. What's gonna end outside? Who ending up outside? You going or you gonna end up back to your little Airbnb? Two floors above. Two, three floors above. Fuck. My shit. Anyways, if you want to see. The tea, get your popcorn ready, take your socks off in the bed, get warm, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay. It's every Nicole, nigga. You tried to play me, but that took your soul. But I don't want it now, nigga. You can have that money on my mind, spend a check and get it right back. Yeah. And now I'm bossed up, and now I'm sauced up, and now I'm charged up, and now I'm blessed up. All right, you want to start off first and talk? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, this is dirty. Gotta change this. I'll be right back. You can start talking to him now. You have the floor. Hey, so listen, man. I got the flow, you know what I'm saying? Let's some balls. It's like, nah. Hey, so uh, my side of the story is where, well, her right here, like, like I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to y'all. I guess it was just, we, I feel like my side would just, we just need to take like a, a break, you know what I'm saying? Just a break from each other just, I mean, cause you know you can be around some, you like moving fast and you be around somebody and then you like, you ain't really used to that. So like make you feel uncomfortable. You be like, I'm not do, I'm doing stuff I usually don't do. But I guess I came to realize like you gotta do stuff to be uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Uncomfortable makes you be great. And I guess that was part of the process. So me just coming to the conclusion of just understanding you gotta sacrifice some stuff for what you want. And then that's what I really had to come to agree with myself. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized that I wanted to hear what you're saying. So I could justify. Sorry, y'all. I just realized I needed to hear what you're saying. Sorry, y'all. I just realized I need to change my shirt because I kind of got makeup on it. Don't mind me. It's been on my shirt. Can you give me a recap of what you just said to them? Just in case he was talking shit. No, I was talking. I was basically saying like um, I felt. I was saying I was felt. I probably felt uncomfortable in the situation I was because I was trying to build something and I was feeling uncomfortable. Cause I wasn't in my usual regiment of schedule, so it made me feel some sort of way. And I said I. I kind of came to the conclusion to myself of you always not gonna be comfortable if you want to be successful. You know what I'm saying. What does that mean? So if we like you, when you have a significant other, you want to build a brand, right? You or you that. just want to build with them in general. Yeah, that's the brand. The brand is you and your your, your spouse or whatever. Mhm. Mm so I guess through, through the time, I was feel I was feel like I was pressured, and I said pressure was meaning that I was feeling uncomfortable, and I wasn't you. I wasn't. And I wasn't used to. You were to, in your element. Yeah, so in my like, element. Yeah, it's not just yours, but it's like I'm adjusted to something else, it's like a different lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that played a lot. Of what huge lifestyle role. though? A lifestyle of, um, not me. I'm used to like an organized person. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like try to have things planned. You know what I'm saying? To what I'm doing. And some people just their schedules are different. 
we had different schedules so it wasn't really it wasn't work it was working but it wasn't working for one person i mean somebody wasn't working for it but i had to understand you just got to sacrifice some stuff to compromise the success at the end of the day okay well he's making it sound very Businessy, it's but, not busy, but, but you're that's is, what you're making this. I just want to be clear to that because you're making it sound very businessy. So, it's kind of like business, no, though. it is. And if you think about it, because you got to come to agreements, you got to understand somebody, you got to figure out how what the, what's best for them or what's best for you. Because it's like agreement, it's like when they say you want somebody, it's like your business partner for the rest of your life. Yeah, but I just don't like how that sounds, you know. What I'm yeah, you don't like the it's business, no business, but that's because on reality, my behalf, you know this saying? is how I feel. This is what I feel. And you correct me if, you, if I'm wrong. I feel as though, um, well, first of all, I don't like to put a time on things. I just learned that I don't like to put a time on things. I don't like to, again, feel pressured, like he said. I just like to go with the flow and whatever it is, whatever it is, and whatever it's not. Okay, it works, it works, it don't, it don't. Clearly, y'all seen I've been fine. It didn't work out. That being said, I feel as though, Truly, and this is just for me to y'all. Y'all know I've been talking my shit lately. Y'all know I just been speaking my mind. I just feel as though along the way, um, it did. That's why I don't really want you to stay businessy because I do feel like it became businessy, and and what I mean by that is that like just seeing Matthias, like apart from anything where we went wrong, he's genuinely a worker. He's organized. He's a go getter. He is about his business. Don't overstep. Don't overstep. Remember out that door you go. You overstep. But no, no, like, when I was first, like, looking at his stuff, when we first, first started talking, like, way back, the main thing that I really was, was like, oh, this man is about his business, like, he's doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why I was just like, mentally, like, you want someone that is mentally where you are, okay? I don't care about numbers, I don't care about money, I don't care about, like, you know, like, I don't give a fuck about that shit, but that's why I don't mind to grow with the people around me, and that's just not with him my friends, you know what I'm saying, Pe my family, like just people mm -hmm. around me. If I can help you grow or if I can help you or if you vice versa, let's do it. That's what life is about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Share your success with others, help people genuinely, do it wholeheartedly and not half-heartedly. Yeah. So with all that being said, uh, me and Matthias did make our relationship very public, but that's mm -hmm. because I felt as though if we have a genuine bond, why not share it with others and why not support each other? Yeah, I feel like we did work to that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we just moved a little too fast on that part. That too, but and I then, feel as though we let business on the outside of our relationship overshadow what we had. Because the main thing I kept telling Matthias, and he, he could tell y'all this if I'm wrong, I kept telling him like communication is very important and I told him that, um, you know, like I just feel like along the way with him being out here training all the guys that y'all seen him train and everything, I feel like he was just focused, which on him, which I am very happy about. I want him to build his brand. We, we literally wrote down goals before we went public with our relationship about mm -hmm. what we wanted to achieve individually and together. So I wasn't upset like that he was doing his thing, but I just feel like along the way, we kind of were losing each other, like our connection. And then it started to be like, okay, I'm aggravated now. Or me saying, hey, don't forget about me. A few times it might have came off as nagging. And just over time, like the connection, I just feel like with him on his part. Because I was still good. I don't know. Niggas, uh, feelings for females don't just go out the windows. I don't know what it is with y'all niggas or Geminis. Because Geminis. Libras are no. trippy. Let me, let me tell you. I don't know what it is with males in general. With just waking up and feeling a completely different way. Or not speaking how they feel till now. Because if y'all want to be real with you, just now he's telling me how he's feeling. Well, because you said you didn't want to hurt. My yeah, I feel like during that time we were talking about tell how it really felt, you just took it the, you took it a whole different way than what it is now. You know what no, I'm because I mean, the worst news you could ever tell me is that you cheated. And then you get punched in your nose. But other than that, there's nothing, like, you know what I'm not, I don't hit nobody, y'all. I'm just saying. She's I wouldn't violent. even hit him. She's cause. violent. No, I'm not violent. Don't do that. But the thing is, like I'm saying, like, and I told him this from John. That's why I be feeling like things be going through one ear out the other. It, the, tell me what the fuck is up. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what is wrong. Tell me how you feeling. I feel like you're doing too much. I feel like you're doing this. I feel like you could have went about this differently. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? Because that's very important. Because when you let it build up and you don't say anything, then shit like this happens, right? Mm -hmm. And then, boom. 
And I can tell him if he would have waited a little. Because the reason why we even started interacting or talking again is because he texted me. You want to tell him? I said, how's he doing? No. Then, then, he then said, I, hello. Then, yeah. You so said, I, hello. I said, I said, I said, what's up? No, you didn't even say, what's said, up? You said, hello. I said, how you doing? She like... She's like, I'm fine. I was just checking up her because I felt, because I mean, me as a person, I, I get these, I get these uh, vibes. You know what I'm saying these, these energy. What Kay was saying. These wave, basically. these wavelengths from the universe where okay, it makes you, me. You talk about wavelengths and shit. This ain't science. Please it's don't. It's not confuse science, them. but it's a, it's a human natural thing because we, I mean, we have cells. We are straight from the universe, so it's like. If you got to connect with somebody that could be your twin flame or something like that. It's just yeah, he used to call me his twin flame, but I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the twin flame. That shit left. It's like, no. <laughs> now, yeah, man, I, I hit her up and said, how you doing? I'll just I'll be checking in on her, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's We more. didn't speak for months. And for his birthday in May, I didn't even tell him happy birthday. I told his mama to tell him. Well, I told her. And she went, took initiative, and told you that I told her to tell. But I didn't tell her to. But anyway, we are, it just, he texted me. And like I said, he caught me on a good day. But at the end of the day, like I want you guys to understand and realize, I was aggravated with the breakup and how it happened because I feel like he could have went about it. Well, I ended up calling the shot, like, okay, we're going to break up. But he was the one acting brand new and different. But I feel like he could have went about it to do. You don't think he was acting brand new and different? No. Okay, now you gonna face my followers or all the people's watching because you could literally see your energy change from videos. You could see I'm our probably, first video. Like that, what I said before, I probably was in an uncomfortable position. Okay, so I you changed. Like, I ain't changed. It was just like I probably was just. Now I mean, probably just not feeling the vibe. So that's you know changing. It's not changing. It's just yes, like it it's was. just like damn, like it's just realizing. And this is another thing, y'all. We both are very strong-minded, so it's like. We both had this all the time, trying to see whose point is gonna be more valid. I but, let I let her get it though. You know what I'm saying? No, cause you be sarcastic. You don't let me get it cause you think it's right. You let me get it cause you want me to shut that up. That's why. Think so. Exactly. The shoe fits work, right? Let's not talk about what shoes be fitting your shoe, your 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 fit or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so basically to come boil down to the conclusion of everything. Um, along the way, there's just events that happened that just threw us both off. But again, me being a female, you know, as females, we be with it. We be trying to fix things. Niggas don't be there, and then they realize too late. But in this case, he caught me. He wasn't too late. So we just I, I, fix your face. Fix your face. In this case, I don't mind being cool with Matthias because he, apart from all that bull. He's a cool person. He not all that, but he cool. She a cool ex-girlfriend. And then you gonna go comment on my picture yesterday talking about some this is my ex-girlfriend. Like, what is your problem? <laughs> it was a joke. I wanted to see what her followers gonna say. I know they'd be like... They don't like you right like now. Like bodyguards. Yeah. What you thought? You was about to come mess with A-Gang? What you thought this was? Y'all better let him know. I'll be testing y'all gangster. That's all, man. Don't be texting people gangster because you're going to test the wrong motherfucking gangster and you're going to get your shit rocked. So that's it? That's what they need to know, right? I mean, yeah, we just told him everything. Oh, yeah, we went on our date. He um, took me to TGI Fridays. And we already kind of pre-talked. That's why our vibe is kind of cool because I know y'all peeped that I was standoffish. I'm, like, confused. But whatever, y'all. I'm not about to keep stressing over this man. Like, he not. Like, that shit did. So it's just good vibes, mm -hmm. I guess. Until he fucks it up again. Damn. Anything you gotta say to my fan? Hey man, we here, baby. I love y'all, man. Y'all supporters. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's I love y'all, man. Did you miss me? No. Huh? You better not say what I think you gotta say. <laughs> What about to say? Answer the question. You say I miss you. I yeah. miss I miss the vibes. So now I miss all y'all, man. I mean I miss Abby. She was I mean she really it was all good vibes, man. Just I mean just no bad no bad energy. We never had bad energy. We just I mean that I feel like the break was just 
something we probably needed just in that milestone of, milestone of what we got going on in the future. So I'm here, baby. I'm going to be here for how, however long God got me staying here, baby, you know? Staying where? Oh, yeah. In hey. my life? Damn near, yeah, so. Okay, well. Yeah, y'all, so if y'all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like seeing me and Matthias together, let us know. I want y'all to give this video a thumbs up so we can see. Should we even keep making videos together? Because I don't mind making funny ex videos. Like, because their videos will be fucking funny with his ass and my ass. So give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all spam the comments down below. Let us know so we can know. How we going to know if y'all don't show us? How we going to know? Right. You going to? You can read their minds? No. Nah. Because I can't. Nah. But anyway. Yeah, y'all, check us out. Um, if y'all wanted to see the little tea before this, check both our channels out and check mm -hmm. out Case because Case sure had something oh, yeah, to say. Kay, me too. Speaking of Case, we doing a video. I think to to see who knows me better, my best friend or my ex. I think that would be a funny ass video because my friend know me like the back of her hand. Y'all be trying to come for my friend, talk about some oh she was doing too much. No, she was pressing this nigga because she saw what this nigga was doing behind the camera. Period. So let me say, see y'all next one. Peace out. Bye, period.